What's up everybody? And today we'll be talking about my biggest vertical jump mistake. Yeah, look at me now I came up. I've been thinking back then when I almost gave up on the game cuz I never got in my way. Never got my mama whip on the driveway. As the title suggests, we're going to be talking about my biggest vertical jump mistake and uh, more specifically how you guys can avoid it. So, let's get right to it. My biggest vertical jump mistake was when I was younger, when I was on the football team, uh, weight training very, uh, very often, squatting heavy, deadlifting heavy, etc. I did not stretch enough. Now I know this is a might not be the most exciting answer, but it's super true. I'm a very strong, very powerful individual, especially in the lower body. But because of all of that training and without proper stretching protocols put into place, without me understanding and stressing the uh, uh, importance of stretching, my muscles are extremely tight. I have very, very tight quads. I have a tight lower back. And now I'm starting to deal with those issues. And, you know, I became certified in 20, a certified personal trainer with NASM in 20, I believe 2018. And, uh, you know, by the time I actually knew what I was doing and was in control of my training, when I wasn't with the football team anymore, I started to understand the importance of stretching. And by then, it was too late, to be honest. It was, it was too late. Uh, and the thing is, that why I'm telling you this and why I think it's a huge part of uh, increasing your vertical and keeping you guys on a path of staying healthy and sustainable is because it's super hard, it's much harder to untighten the muscle. It, it's much more difficult to loosen an already tight muscle as opposed to just keeping it in a nice balanced state with stretching after your strength training. On the World Record Jump program, we control your volume, making sure that you don't hit plateaus, also making sure that you're staying healthy, and we also make sure that you're stretching at the end of each strength training day. So I want you guys to make sure that you guys take that seriously, because I put it at the end, but this video is to emphasize that that is very important. We don't want to become either front side dominant and have the hamstrings weak. We don't want to have tightness in the quads that's going to relate to a whole bunch of issues, and that's how you start to get jumper's knee and patellar tendonitis, etc. So I want to stress the importance of making sure you guys stretch. Now, let's say you already are an athlete whose legs or glutes or lower back is very tight. What can we do about it? Let's take the quads. The quads, I have a couple good tests to see if it's our hip flexors or our quads that are tight, and I'll post a video of it. If you have tight calves, which are very common among jumpers, I'm going to show you a couple stretches and a couple strengthening exercises in order to make sure that we're balanced both front side and back side. And lastly, if our lower back, we're squatting incorrectly at first, if we're squatting too heavy without proper core strength, we're going to do some lower back stretching and we're gonna do some core strengthening. Lower core, hip flexor strengthening, making sure that everything is tight here so that we're not in a posterior pelvic tilt. Anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I think that that's very important. Don't make the same mistakes I did. And uh, guess what, if you guys get the world record jump program, you don't have to. I learned from my mistakes, I put that in the program. We control the volume, we make sure that you guys stay uh, injury free and stay healthy and longevity, making sure that you guys can train for a long, long time because it takes that. It takes consistency and dedication, okay? If you guys want to know what specific stretches you could do in order to prevent your muscles from becoming overly tight, keep an eye out for my next video. It's going to be the best three stretches for my jumpers in order to stay healthy so that you guys can have a long, healthy career. All right, I'm Chris Bell from Against Odds Athletics, and I'll see you in the next video.